Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Shagnik Datta, my third year MBBS student at Bardwan Medical College and Hospital, West Bengal. In this video, I want to talk about online educational platforms like Marrow, Pripladder, Cerebellum, and whatsoever it might be. Now, the reason why I just want to talk about these platforms is because starting from the very first year of MBBS till the final year of MBBS and till our internship, we tend to use these platforms for every resource of ours, be it the content, be it question banks, be it giving tests, everything is cumulatively present in these platforms and we tend to use them. But what happens is we get distracted from the usual happenings like reading textbooks and also we tend to not attend the clinical postings because of these platforms. So in this video, I want to talk about how you should actually make a perfect use of these platforms in your first and second year of MBBS. So without much ado, let us get into the video. So I've divided this entire video into three sections. In section one, I have talked about should you actually use these platforms and what are the different pros and cons of using these platforms. In the second section, I have talked about what are the different components of these platforms and what you should use from them. And third, I have talked about how should you actually properly make use of these platforms. So first things first, should you actually use these platforms? Look. In the previous times, there were no such platforms present. There were only offline coachings and even before that there was nothing. People used to resort to the textbooks and read and understand from them. But what happened, what became very beneficial after these platforms came, where the videos that are being made in these platforms were completely based on these standard textbooks like Robbins, like Harrison's and they have actually jotted it down specifically in a place so that it becomes very easier for us to understand and refer to rather than referring to those bulky books. Though it has got some advantages but yet there are many disadvantages of this thing as well. Now what are the different advantages of using these online platforms? Number one is we can properly complete an entire syllabus in less time. Number two, because these notes and videos are being referred to from a standard textbook, so we actually get hold of those standard textbooks while not even touching and reading those books. For example, in second year of MBBS, uh, I read pathology from Dr. Sparsh Gupta. Now, Sparsh Gupta even in his book mentions that we should refer to the books of Robbins for great details but if you just refer to his own notes you would find that they are actually made from the book of Robbins. After you watch Spurge Gupta sir's lectures and then you read Robbins you would find a great similarity between these two. So it becomes very beneficial for us as medical students. Now there are certain cons of using these platforms. The very first being we get rid of our habits of studying textbooks. Studying textbooks increases your concentration and we actually get to have a glimpse of some minute informations which are generally missed. For example, uh, in community medicine, we are usually asked a question like if you were a BMOH of a certain district and there is a uh, situation like flood or maybe some uh, widespread communicable disease or whatsoever it might be, how would you actually manage that as a BMOH of that particular area? Now, this is not usually taught in these kinds of applications, but are written in these books. And this is a practical application knowledge which you can learn from the books. So that is something that misses out on these apps. But yet 
we tend to use these apps for their own benefits so with that we come to the next point that what are the different features of these apps and how should we actually use them in our first and second year of mbbs now first and second year of mbbs are the founding and stepping stones of the entire curriculum of mbbs in the first two years we get to learn about the basic subjects like physiology anatomy and biochemistry in first year of mbbs and in the second year of mbbs we get to know and learn about micropatho and pharma now these basically forms the foundation of the entire medical curriculum now we need to have a good grip over these subjects on the basis of which we would actually get ahead in the entire mbbs curriculum so that becomes very necessary. So these applications provide us with generally three types of context. Number one are video lectures. In the video lectures, we get to know and understand about different topics where the teacher basically teaches us. In the second section, we get to know about the question banks where we get to practice what we have learned. And in the third section, we get to know about the tests where we get to assess ourselves among these three components what are the things that you should use and how should you basically use that number one is video lectures for video lectures you should actually watch the entire video with much concentration because these videos and notes are being made in parallel to some standard textbook whoever the teacher might be but the informations are always in parallel to some standard textbooks and that is when it becomes very beneficial. So if you are using these video lectures in your first and second year of MBBS, you should definitely watch the videos. Next comes the question banks. What should you do with the question bank? Should you actually solve these question banks or not? Because once you start solving these question banks, you find that you cannot actually solve even 50 to 60 percent of these question banks and that becomes very depressing the answer is very obvious because these question banks are made in accordance of the neat pg examination which is slightly different from your university questions but yet you should solve them because number one you get a habit of solving these questions number two is Around 10 to 20 percent of your university question papers also has got some MCQs as well. So if you practice these questions, you are actually practicing a higher order MCQs than those asked in your university papers. So it becomes a good habit to actually solve MCQs. But Please do not get deprived or do not get demotivated that you cannot solve these questions because these are these questions are made in accordance to the neat, neat PG curriculum and you are not yet well versed with these type of questions. So you should solve these questions but not get into the details of that. Now, having said that, let me specifically talk about the test series. What should you do with that? Talking about the test series, you should actually not attempt them because number one, the test series are completely in accordance with these competitive exams like NEET, PG and INICT. So it's very difficult for us to actually solve these questions being in our first and second year of MBBS. And secondly, because we are more focused towards solving university questions that is subjective type, we do not actually get into the intricate details of solving MCQ types of questions. And that what makes us very demotivated when we actually give a test and we get a very bad rank in these tests. So it is better that you actually do not attempt these tests in your first and second year of MBBS. Now, it brings me to the third section of the video where I should talk about how should you actually use these platforms in your first and second year of MBBS. Step one should be watch the complete video lectures. The, at times the video lectures are lengthy, so watch it at 1.5x but do not watch them at 2x speed because it breaks your concentration and you cannot much focus on them so watch them at 1.5x speed max but complete the entire video whatever might be present in your app second after you have actually watched these entire videos 
take out the past year questions of your university and try to solve them and find out the answers from these videos and notes and if not found refer to the standard textbooks for their answers and mark them in the standard textbooks after you have done these two things what you should do is pick up your standard textbook and read them in its entirety and that would actually fill all the gaps that you might be having during this preparation phase and so you are completely ready for your university exams so you should have a checklist done that you have seen all the videos you have solved the past year question papers of the university and third is you have read the standard textbooks if you have done all of these then you are good to go so this is how you should actually make a proper use of these online platforms so with that we come to an end of this video if you like the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share this video with whomever might find it helpful as well see you in the next one